Hey YouTube, uh, just wanted to give you a warning. I don't know if anybody would be in this uh, circumstance. I mean, maybe not. It's not really a common thing to do, but um, I had a gold coin, a, a Kugrand, and uh, I wanted to sell it, and I'm here in Thailand, and I didn't think it would be um, very difficult to do it, seeing as there's so many gold shops. I mean, they're pretty much just everywhere. You know, I thought it would be um, relatively easy. I mean, I figured for sure, like, I'm going to get less than spot. But I didn't think it would be, you know, drastically less. Anyways, like, I went to uh, Chinatown, where there's, like, lots and lots of big gold shops. And most people, like, they didn't even, since I was a foreigner, half of them didn't even want to talk to me. They told me, like, no. I, and they told me, where did you get it? And I told them the United States. They said, no, we only buy Thai gold. You know, uh, it's not 23 karat gold. A lot of people told me it's only 75% gold. Some people said it was fake. It's a cougar, and they said it's not stamped. And when it is, it says one ounce fine gold. It's obvious to anybody who has any kind of intelligence or mathematical knowledge, you know, that it's uh, what's in there, what the content is. I mean, I explained to them, you know, it's 91.7%. It's 31.1 grams of uh, pure gold, you know, that it contains. You know, obviously it weighs more than that. But they just couldn't seem to um, fathom that. It's frustrating, you know, it really gets frustrating living in the third world. I like it sometimes, but then when it comes to things like that, where just like basic, fundamental, simple things become so difficult, it gets really frustrating. Anyways, like a few people offered me um, money for it, but really low, like maybe a thousand dollars or even less. And anyways, like eventually I found someone who seemed to sort of understand you know, what it was. And at first they were saying they would give me like 40,000 baht, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's a little less than $100 under spot, which isn't really good, but I mean, it's not terrible either. Um, then they just kept going on and on and on, and then they like lowered the price way down. And I told them like, fine, you know, I just got frustrated that by that point. I've been to about 20 different places at least. And, um, and then, you know, I told him, like, give me 38. And, uh, you know, they said, no, 37. And I said, you know what, I'll come back. I'll think about it, I'll come back. I, um, I walked around, went to a few more stores and the same sort of nonsense. So I said, ah, you know what, I'll just go back. So I went back and then, and then they were like, oh no, now 36. And I'm like, ah, oh, we already agreed to a 37. Anyways, so they were like, okay. And then they took the coin and they just put it like on a stone and took a blowtorch to it and they like heated it up, you know? I thought maybe they were testing it to see if it, the plating or something like that. But actually I did see them doing that to Thai gold as well. It seems like a common test that they do. And it like, I guess, you know, cause the Kugrand has 8% copper in it. It reacted to the, uh, the heat and it turned the coin like gray. And then they started saying, oh, it's garbage, this is garbage, it's not, it's worthless, and they're, you know, and they're acting like all crazy and stuff, and they're like, oh, no, can't even, like, hardly give you anything for it, and blah, 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 like, trying to play a game with me, I mean, they know, but I guess they figured, like, I don't understand anything about coins, or, you know, I don't understand what I have, and I told them, like, you know what, if you don't want to buy it, don't buy it, just give it back to me, and then they're like, no, 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 and, you know, went through this whole thing, and, like, I was there for, like, 15 20 minutes they kept testing it and burning it and like doing all this like crazy stuff to it and uh, Finally they gave me the money and it still was not even a good deal I would never sell a coin here again It just I felt like they put you into the position where they damage your stuff and then you feel like you're a hostage you have to uh, Sell it and I was reading on the internet and it's not I'm not the only one that's happened to it's happened I guess it's quite common that they do stuff like that there's really not a lot of things that you can do, especially as a foreigner. I mean, you can't call the police or anything. They won't help you out. Anyways, um, so I don't know. Just a word of warning. Beware, you know, when you're selling your coins. But I also did find it somewhat interesting, you know, that it reacted to the heat that way, to the fire. I mean, I guess in a sense it is a way that you can uh, test gold if you're ever in, like, a collapse situation, you know. You can somewhat tell the purity of it because, like, very pure gold, like the Thai gold, is about like 96.5%, and it doesn't, it's not affected by the heat. Well, anyways, it's kind of interesting.